What's up guys? Welcome to the immediate chaos. We are hopping in the car and we are heading to cheer because the girls finally get to resume tumbling with Michael yeah. because unfortunately their coach was in a car accident, a really bad one, and was injured pretty bad. And he is healing up nicely and now we can resume tumbling so I'm really excited. I can't wait to see the girls. I love watching them tumble. So we're going to head out now and then maybe I'll get some clips of them doing some tumbling. I know you are. Oh! Oh, that is good. There's nothing I can do about it. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we just got done with probably the best tumbling <laughs> private lessons we've ever had. Brynn had a literal breakthrough today. No, ma'am. I am so proud of you. Are you proud Thank of yourself? You, yes. So, we don't talk about it a whole lot, but Brynn is working. Can I say? No. You don't want me to say? Just, just don't say what it is. <laughs> I said it on Instagram. I know. You saw. Bryn has had a back handspring for a long time and it's beautiful and we're we're working through. It. Mm. Anyways, today she had a breakthrough. And yes. she did her back handspring beautifully, perfectly, without a spot. And it honestly looks better than it did like three years ago when you were doing it like in routines yeah. and stuff. <laughs> um it's gorgeous. And so we had a really it was just incredible. She was just doing over and over and doing two and round off back handspring, back handspring, and I'll insert some footage. If you're following me on Insta Instagram, then you already saw it. So but here is a little bit of what cap no, not cap. Oh. Brynn was sorry. <laughs> it was hard for me to film you because you were kind of over on the other yeah. Like behind that, but um, anyways, sprint stuff. Yeah. Caps from walkovers are perfect now. Do you remember when you first started doing them? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, bye-bye. <laughs> okay, so I'm in the girls' room. We oh, are looking missing at... Something. Oh, missing something. We are looking at their Halloween costume. Capri's gonna show you a picture of what hers is gonna look like. All her stuff is on order. I'm gonna show you what Sevy and Hampton were gonna try to be. I can't tell you what Ken and I are gonna be. Well, I don't know. I'll show you if I get stuff at the store. So Bryn's gonna first show her stuff. Go ahead and tell okay, me what you're gonna be yeah, and what you your stuff is. Oh, sorry. Um, did you take my glasses? No. Oh. They're there. Oh, we gotta oh, find your glasses. There's a bunch of things fell. Yeah, I know, because you pulled everything out. <laughs> your glasses are right here. Oh, there you go. That's the rest of it. it. No. Okay. Oh, that's cool, Bran. Yeah. Okay. Right? Okay. okay, have you put everything on yet? Yeah. Oh, how's it has it look? It's you do? Good. Yeah. Well, I guess I don't want to show that yet. Yeah. Because maybe after closer to Halloween, we'll show it. Yeah. Okay. But just show everything. So, first thing is <clears throat> this hat. Okay. And, um, wait a second. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought yes. the thing was broken. <laughs> yes, that is gonna be so and fun walking around so like that. Cool when it's dark. Yes, okay, that'd be I'm awesome. Okay. And then we have this like glittery <clears throat> skirt, so okay. you just like you could just put like Nike Pros on it uh -huh. and just tie and it around. And put that over it. Here. Okay. Perfect. And so those are really cool. Tata, okay. no. And then you can wear like any top. Tata, what are you doing? <laughs> why? Is, she... Why won't she move? <laughs> <laughs> we have how did Look, we get I like can't move her. how did we get an old dog like immediately like she she was Aww. she immediately went old on us she's only two years old and she acts like an old dog me and evie call her like our old dog she is Look, she's a little yawning old doggy. she climbs on stuff she's got old dog problems yes yeah, she has old dog problems she does okay um you can wear okay. any top with this outfit but i just chose this like plain yeah top. okay perfect um, and then your glasses top. And then these glasses. Okay. Little heart glasses. Nice. And yeah, that's my outfit. And uh, okay, so not those shorts. Oh, no. Okay. And I forgot this glitter Ooh. that you like put up like All here over. and here and here. I think there's some more glitter coming. Okay. So, yeah. Perfect. Mhm. Mm and that's it. And that's it? Yeah. That's awesome. So, you're a space cow girl, right? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Capri. I'm trying Do you have a picture yet? Not yet. No, Should we come back? Find it, yeah. Okay. Have I told you what we're gonna do for Sebi and Hampton? No. Okay. So Sebi would be the perfect sweet tooth, right? Yeah. So but we he talked about that. Be sweet tooth. Oh, he doesn't. Uh oh. No, Are we does. like? Is he okay with it? He said he didn't want to be sweet. Oh. oh, I found it. Okay. Well, hold on. Okay. And then Hampton, we want to do. So if you guys have seen Sweet Tooth, then you know what Sweet Tooth looks like. And also, Big Man. I've been looking for trench coats for Hampton, so he could have a trench coat. He needs a burgundy pills. hoodie. He needs pills. Pills? Pill. Oh, that's yeah, funny. He like, yeah, he like needs a pills. Little, a yeah, yeah, he does. And he's got a backpack on. So, trench coat, burgundy hoodie, 
a white t-shirt underneath, all <laughs> kind of, so it's really hard to actually kind of find the trench coat. That's what I'm starting with first. So I'm gonna go to Spirit Halloween. I'm gonna see if I can find it. Antlers for Sebi. Antlers for Sebi, that's the other thing. I bet yes. you could buy the, you know what would be a cooler costume for Seb? Instead mm. of just the antlers, the yeah. little hat that he wears, the helmet. Yeah, I know, the I know, I, I know. I feel like that would be cool. That would be super cool, I can't find it though. You can't find it? No. I feel like that would be something someone has I know. Like on Etsy? Well, maybe do a search for me. Okay. okay. Did you check on Etsy? Mm, I didn't, no, I looked for Sweet Tooth costumes on Etsy. They come up with different things, but not like, they like, and there's different antlers, but I didn't yeah. see the helmet thing. Yeah. So for my okay. Halloween costume, I ordered everything like okay. a week ago or something, and um, it hasn't like arrived just yet. It should okay. be like, what's the date? The, the, the 19th? day's the 19th, yeah. So it should be here like 20 or whatever. Like 20th or something. something. So this is kind of like, I'm going for like an alien style, and it's kind of like what I'm going oh, for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and I've seen I have seen like this. the glitter... Okay. And I have the that costume coming with the little Fun. tentacle thingies. That is cool. So yeah. That's such a crazy picture. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's what you're going to be. Awesome. All that stuff. Antenna, the whole outfit. Awesome. I that's find fun. More accessories though. Yeah. Like some sort of like I want to try to find like glasses that kind of like go with it. Okay. So. Okay. That'd be fun. So, let's go to Spirit Halloween and go see what we can find. Okay. Okay, we just pulled up. I think that Seb, how badly do you want to be Sweet Tooth? Like, real bad or yeah, not, not that much? Really. Not really at all? Yeah. So if we find something for you and Hampton I mean, in here. If there is something. Okay, let's look, good. okay? Cap, you already have yours, but we'll look for fun costumes for you guys. That Just your age, you know, and you and Brindley. Teen costumes that would be fun to look at. And so, not that you're gonna get it, but you can just look through them. Yeah. Uh, for ideas for like next year or something like that. And then Kendall and I, okay, I'll show you what we're gonna, we're trying to find for her and I. So it, it's, it's really fun and funny. So I'll show you if we find it. So, so here's what we found right here. So Cruella. This would be so perfect for Kendall. She's just not sure if she likes this red dress. We're gonna try and get it. The see red dress if. Is ugly. Oh, you don't even like it? I like this, yeah. Oh, yikes. Um, well, let's look for the, what other outfits she had. And then I'm gonna be a Dalmatian. <laughs> what? Yes, I'm gonna be a Dalmatian. Dalmatian. Yeah. Wouldn't that be hilarious as a couple's thing? Yeah. <laughs> then you two can be extra Dalmatians. No. Yeah. no? You don't want to be a dumb Dalmatian? <laughs> okay. You want to be a Dalmatian? Are you finding what you want to be? You want to, you want to be, oh, you want to Stitch be Stitch? Uh, or no, Ghostbusters? Sorry, Ghostbusters. Okay, let's go look at it. So Capri is trying to find like some glasses to add to accessories for her costume, but are you finding anything really? Um, Not really. Yeah. You know, you got to find the right perfect look for an alien, like glasses. Yeah. An alien? Yeah. Oh, you're being an alien. Okay. And then Sebby found maybe something different to be, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. But we're still looking for a trench coat for you. Cause if you can find a trench coat, then you can be, still be Big Man. Do you know who Big Man is? Remember on Sweet Tooth? The big, the big guy that takes care of him? You don't remember it? <laughs> I'll show you a picture later. So gosh, we're looking for other options for Kendall and I. We said Stranger Things, but Capri's like, no, too old, can't do it. It's too old. It, well, even with the new season that came out, still it doesn't work. No, that new season came out in 2019. Oh, I know. All right. Okay. It'd be fun though. Like I like the scoops ahoy. There's the for the guys. And 11. Cap, remember this right here? Napoleon Dynamite. Remember that movie? Wasn't that funny? So that's pretty funny. Harry Potter stuff. Definitely no. No, a uh, hocus pocus. No. Still fun though. But I mean, honestly, Capri, your costume is so fun and so cool. Yours is so cool and so fun that I don't even worry about anything from here. Yours is yeah. so cool. I love it. Okay, so that was pretty successful. We started with Fortnite for the boys. 
But in the end, they <laughs> got they police. got police outfits instead. So we'll see. We're gonna try them on, see how they fit, and see if yeah. they're any good. Capri, you didn't get any sunglasses or anything like that. You but just got, got a little little some gems like, yeah, to put on your face. Like, yeah. <laughs> yep. And then I got the Corella outfit for Kendall. She's gonna try it on, see if it fits, see if it looks right. It could be totally cheesy and just look dumb, cause it's a big, like huge gown so you never know how those look on anyone so yeah we'll give it a try see what it looks like and then switch and then if we're not i don't know what we're gonna be kindle and i for we got two parties 80s. we gotta go to 80s it would be cool oh dad you yeah. could be that guy that um from that movie that was oh uh, napoleon dynamite yeah 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 I could be, yeah that's I funny know. i don't know mom wouldn't want to be something off of there though mm -hmm. okay let's go home okay so we're finally telling the story of what happened to a family member of ours and why the other day in a couple different vlogs we were like tearing up and choking up and crying and because it was a really serious situation especially right at that time that we were filming what happened was my dad got very sick the day that her and i were saying this our family member is in bad bad shape is that at the at that moment he had just come from the doctor's office that evening and he had oxygen level of 86 and the doctor got his oxygen um, it was 82. not yet 86 to start with gave him oxygen everybody thought he had improved mm. and everything seemed fine got some IV fluids because he wasn't eating. He had lost 20 pounds and hadn't been eating. So this was already a really bad situation that he wasn't eating. Everything was, mm -hmm. it made him nauseous. He wouldn't eat. He would throw up when he ate. He was or, getting treated for something else. Yeah, I was or, getting treated for something else. Didn't know. Some intestinal thing, yeah. Thought that's what was wrong with him. And then the oxygen became a bigger problem than anything else at that, at that point. So that night, until my mom right, yeah. actually woke my dad up through the night and we're kind of assuming that that saved his life <laughs> yeah because his oxygen level the next day they took him to the emergency room that next morning mm -hmm. and it was 82 and so oh, he and was he blue. Blue. blue and he was blue his lips were blue his face was blue so he was in really 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 bad shape and yeah again we're assuming that like my mom says i think we, i saved his life through the night <laughs> just by waking him up but not knowing that his oxygen was mm -hmm. so low they took him in when they first got to the hospital oh, and they're in panama yes if you they're, don't in know panama. That. they're in another yeah. country so mm -hmm. well yeah even a smaller town than panama Buquete. right but. first emergency room the emergency room then was going to make the decision as to whether he needed to be hospitalized or not obviously he did he has oxygen of 82. My mom was allowed to choose the hospital that she wanted to take him to. She chose a private hospital, assuming that would be a better choice for him for his care. So they transported him in ambulance to the hospital. My mom just told me the other day a story that while he was in the ambulance, they ran out of oxygen for him. He was maintaining like 82, couldn't keep it up himself. He could have died during this entire, entire time. Yeah. Like that, that 24 hours was, he was on the verge of, of, of dying. Yeah. Could have gone into cardiac arrest. My mom said she didn't understand when they got to the hospital why multiple staff and doctors and everything rushed him on a gurney out and into the hospital all of a sudden. Just like rushed him in. She didn't understand what was going on until she found out they'd run out of oxygen for him. I, oh, I didn't know that. The before. ambulance I knew ride. that, but I didn't know they had, okay. Yeah, so he gets there. They talk to the doctor. The doctor says, here's the procedure they want to do for him. It was not a good procedure. Not a good procedure at all. It's one that I've heard of that's not good, that is not good for people, and the rate of getting better by the way they were planning to do it, I've heard bad things about it without getting into the details of it. So my mom, by herself, in Panama, no family to help her, is having to go against the will of doctors and saying, I gotta transport him somewhere else. They're saying, no, you have to pay $5,000 to keep him overnight. She didn't know where to keep him overnight just to keep him alive. She didn't know if transporting him again was going to save him, kill him, you know, what, you know, in this moment. She is calling me at different times, crying throughout the entire thing. So worried about him. Like, we're worried to death about him. That's why multiple of our videos were like tearing up, you know, about this whole thing. So they transport him to a different hospital. This hospital, like immediately, you could tell the procedures that they were going to do for him was a great plan. Uh, well, it wasn't immediate, but it soon after he yeah. was there, it was obvious that they, they were going to treat him a, well. A really good, you know, care plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they begin treating him. They put him on the full. What do you call them? BiPAP. BiPAP. Yeah. He was getting all his oxygen fully from that. Um, not eating. Not eating still. Just, just totally on IVs. Yeah. <clears throat> Saw that he had pneumonia. 
in his lungs. His upper left was bad, in bad shape, showed a lot of buildup, mucus, whatever it all is, the mm -hmm. inflammation in the lungs. He's been in that hospital now going on two weeks. Oh yeah. At least. Or is it over two weeks now? It might be over two weeks now. Yeah, two weeks. While he was in the hospital, his treatments begin to clear up that spot mm -hmm. in his lungs. He maintained a spot in his back right mm -hmm. part of his lung. <clears throat> that was inflamed and in bad shape. Kept him on IVs, they, IV fluids. He began to feel much, much better because you finally get nutrition. Mm -hmm. Like literally for the first time. Mm -hmm. When I say he wasn't eating, mm -hmm. my mom would tell me what he would eat. She would try to force him to eat a bite of chicken or a bite of rice and he would throw that up and he couldn't hold it down. That's how bad he was and how bad a shape he was in. So this whole time, like when I, all that was happening, I thought I was gonna we were gonna lose oh, him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were waiting for the phone oh, call, any moment day, from my mom. Yeah, we, uh, he's passed away, day. can you come help me? We were making Move out plans. of Panama, <laughs> yep. I got um, my passport, got passport. Yeah. out, I made sure that I could travel. And he's talking with his sister who lives in yep. the States. And She's devastated. Oh, unbelievably. And you know, Daniel could have gone, but his mom was like, you need to stay. Their yeah. protocol, he would have had to like quarantine just because traveling internationally right now. Right. Um, so he would not have even been able to really assist or be like present. Yeah. So, yeah. so they've gotten my dad to the point of, they took him off the BiPAP and they put him on the, just mm -hmm. the ones that nasal are Nasal cannula. In, like. There you go, nasal mm -hmm. cannula. Mm -hmm. And his oxygen level, they keep turning it down every day they turn it down so that he is using more of his own oxygen. Mm -hmm. Yesterday we're gonna put him on just the one that has, it's the much smaller tubes in the nose and it has the bag underneath where you're pulling your own oxygen mm -hmm. out of the bag instead of being forced oxygen. No, it didn't happen. Oh, it didn't happen? No, it didn't happen. Shoot. They also got him on food. Did he walk? They did not get him to walk yet because he is so tall that they're <laughs> afraid they can't support him if he were to fall and you know, the Panamanian people are, oh, are shorter. True. So my dad's six foot and he is big guy. And so they wanted to actually start physical therapy to get his legs ready to hold his own weight. Oh, and so they don't gosh. have to do it. So there's been a little bit of a delay, but oh, everything is still hopeful that he can get out soon. They had even said this Friday or this Monday, Friday won't happen. Depending on how things go, depending on what happens today, would determine whether or not he could actually get out of the hospital. So mm -hmm. we're really glad that my mom switched hospitals. She yeah. saved his life. She saved his life in the middle yeah. of the night. Unbelievable. I'm just Unbelievable. glad he's doing better. Yeah. Um, and that the improvement, you know, has been happening. Mm -hmm. I think this Thursday will be two weeks actually. Okay. okay. What's today? Today's Wednesday. So I think it's like almost two weeks. Okay. Yeah, two weeks. So probably another week, honestly, to try to get him Yeah, like walking, to get him walking and then- Off the oxygen. Yeah and able to walk out of the hospital on his own. Yeah, and come what back home. What an ordeal. An unbelievable <sighs> ordeal. So I can't believe it's actually been two weeks. Right. I think the first few days were real dicey, real hard. And his mom, just hearing his mom, like hearing you tell me that she cried for yeah. every, like that's hard and that's just yeah. hard she, on her. She cries you know? through all our phone calls. That's really sad, but she's and not now, right? She's no, better? No, she better. Every encouraged. day she's better and better and That's feels good. encouraged. That's good. Yeah, I know. I teared up the day I told you what was going on. Uh, so I mean, we I didn't... <laughs> Posey! Oh my gosh. gosh. She would jump <sighs> on the edge of the railing. Um, I was in the bed. It was late and I was watching Gilmore Girls with the girls and it was like Wednesday night and Daniel comes in the look on his face and I immediately paused and I was like, what? And he starts tearing up to tell me choked that he's up and choked couldn't get up. It out. He couldn't get out. I was like, what is it? What is it? And he goes, my dad's not doing good. I'm like, oh my gosh. And so that Wednesday night was when we finally learned of it. And like not knowing how the night was going to go. And then the Thursday morning was when we started filming with you guys. And that was when we just didn't even know if at the end of the day, you know, yeah. what was going to be. So. Yeah. So his symptoms in the beginning were nausea, couldn't eat, burping, no congestion, not really coughing too much, no like, fevers or achiness. So it was really odd what it what it could into, be or like and that, how it turned and, into what it was. And how it came to be pneumonia. And right. like, was it because he was laying in the bed? Right. You know, and and, he and not eat. getting nutrition and not, not drinking water, but the intestinal, they were treating him right. for, uh, like he had eaten like a- Some bad cheese, but and thought he had parasites, parasites but in the end he didn't, in a third have, world country. he didn't have parasites. So, so, weird. so as soon as he didn't eat, he just started to sleep and lay in the bed. Oh, and so that's what caused all these other problems to come about. So what was it? What did, you know, what did he have? You know, when he first went to the emergency room, he tested negative for COVID. Went to the other hospital, he tested positive. 
I mean, what you know, was it that? Was it that? I don't know. Was it that? Was it not that? Don't know. Turned into pneumonia. His symptoms were just different. I mean, because anyway. we had COVID. This yeah, we nothing. had. We had no experience like this. No, completely um, different symptoms. So, I mean, one would have to just assume that it was, but. I guess. Right. Here. Like, right. I don't know. Like, I, I honestly, his mom tested negative for COVID. She right. had to get a test. Really bizarre. Yep. So that's but our story. That's our update. He's gonna get better, yes. get out of the hospital, yeah. and then they're gonna come back here. Yeah, they're gonna come. Have and a big welcome home. Live party. in South Florida. We we're pl already planning. Yep. I'm gonna do a welcome home party for him, so I'm really excited. We've got our wheels turning. We know the theme, aside from welcome home, but yeah. So we're we just feel very blessed that he's doing so well. Yep. And I know you guys were just sending lots yep. of prayers. You didn't know who it was, and we just didn't want to share. At that point, it was just. Um, I didn't want to share. We already that shared enough. You know, we, we already had opened up enough. I know if he was gonna die at the moment I was trying to share yeah. who it was. I didn't yeah. want you know. Yeah. Needed to wait till he was better and then share the yeah. whole story. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Thanks guys for watching and see you next video. Bye.